Hello guys, for this question, we're going to be solving a graph valid tree, which is essentially figuring out whether a graph given is a valid tree. To solve this, it would be helpful to refresh on what a valid tree is. And essentially, it's a node where you have parent nodes, and parent nodes have child nodes, and so on. Recursively, where you have a structure like so. So in the context of this question, we know an invalid tree will be one, for example, where uh, let's say we have n nodes. So in this case, n is, uh, n is equal to 7, and the number of edges that we have is always n minus 1 which is six. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one way we can quickly check whether this is valid based on the edges that we have here in the input. And now the other way, uh, which is what solves this question, is whenever we have a tree, uh, we always know that the child nodes never have an edge between them. So for example, like so, this would automatically be an invalid tree. So using that concept, we can solve this question using a union find, where essentially we union all the edges. And once we find something like so, where two nodes that we're about to union uh, correspond to the same parent, that means that it's an invalid tree. So in this question, for example, the edges that we have are 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 1, 4. So when we union 0 and 1, we're going to pick 0 as the root node for this union. So we're going to have something that looks like this, 0 and under it is 1. So that means that 1's parent is 0. Now when we do union 0, 2, we're going to pick 0 as the parent since we've previously picked that. So that means that 2's parent is 0. And when we do union 0, 3, 3's parent is going to be 0. And then when we do union 1, 4, 4's parent is going to be 1. But because of the algorithm that we're going to use, we're going to compress this path. And we're going to make 4's parent to be 0 instead. So during all these unions, there was no union for both of them where they already have the same parent. And that's how we know that this is a valid graph. But for example, if we had something like this. In this example, the edges are now 0, 1, 0, 2, and 1, 2. And if we run the same algorithm, we're going to do a union for all of them. So union 0, 1, our union uh, find data structure is going to look initially like this after this union, where we pick 0 as the parent node. And when we do union 0, 2, two's parent is going to be 0. And when we go ahead and do union 1, 2, we're going to notice that 1 and 2 already have the same parent, which is 0. And that's how we know that it's an invalid tree, because we can't have two nodes that correspond to the same parent. Uh, that's going to tell us that these are sibling nodes, which is, and they have an edge between them, which is an, is an invalid tree. So what this looks like in code is, um, we can uh, start by having the boilerplate for a union find algorithm. We always have a find and a union function. But this is the important part in this question is if we find out that two nodes have the same parents, we can uh, figure out that it's, a, it's an invalid tree. Otherwise, we can determine which node to uh, designate as the parent node uh, using the, like the rank data structure which I'm going to type right now. This is the initial parents node. And for their rank, we're going to set them all to be zero initially for each single node. And we always want to make the parent node the one with the one that already has a bunch of child nodes um, in them. So here, the rank for root x, that means that this parent node has uh, more child nodes than the root y one. We're going to set this as the parent for the y node. Otherwise, we do the opposite. And in the case where they're both similar, we just increment one of them and uh, set this as the parent now since we've incremented it. And in this case, we want to return true since that means that the, these were not, this was a valid tree so far. And we're going to return true at the very end. Otherwise, we're going to return false when this, if this returns false. And now we just iterate each, each edge. And if the union method returns false, we can return false for this. And there you go. If this doesn't make sense, it's helpful to first watch the union find video to understand how it works out. There are a lot of videos on YouTube that do that, uh, that will be much better than how I'd explain it. So I would recommend you watch that first. And one last check that we forgot to do is we can do a check here to make sure that the edges are equal to the number of nodes minus one. If they're not, then we know that it's automatically an invalid tree. And that should be it. Thank you for watching.